hi queens welcome back to my channel this video is a wash routine for the natural on the go um so if you want to have your wash day and still be able to go out and, and do your errands um i'm going to show you how i achieve that so stay tuned so i start with my hair sectioned in fours um, this is just what I've always been doing. It makes it so much easier to work in sections. What you're going to need is water. This is just a spray bottle filled with just regular tap water and then a comb if you like to detangle with a comb. Today though, I'm just going to be using my fingers because I want to lessen the amount of breakage that I have. Um, so I take one section and I carefully split that into two. Um, if you also have 4C hair, you know um, that it can get pretty tangled. Um, but that's why I like finger detangling because it lessens the amount of breakage that you can have. Like the comb kind of just snaps through everything. But with your fingers, you can kind of feel the knots and feel the, you know, where um, you can like, you know, take your time with your fingers. I like to take off all my rings when I detangle too because um, it just gets in the way. So after you have your section to work with, you're just gonna spray that down with water. Um, I usually rub it down a few times just so my hair can get like soft and pliable. And then I just start splitting that section multiple times, um, you know, filling out the different knots and just kind of taking it through. So I'm not gonna try and not talk through the whole thing cause my voice is annoying to me. So, you can just watch and we'll pick back up. So after the one section is thoroughly detangled, I just keep running my fingers down, um, make sure I don't feel any more knots, and then I sp split that into two and just twist it up. Um, that way I know, you know, I'm finished that section and I can move on to the next one. So I just clip that back and then move on. Now the middle of my head, like the crown area is like the most toughest to detangle for me. Um, I don't know why, I mean I have like multiple textures in my hair so like the back and the fronts are like softer and a little, like a lot less um, easier to, to detangle. But the middle is like rough. It's um, drier usually. And, um, you know, it takes me a few, a little bit longer to detangle the middle. So, um, but I, it's the same steps. I wet it and I just feel through. Um, usually I'm working in like smaller sections um, in the middle so I can get, you know, thoroughly through the whole thing. <laughs> so by the time I get to the fourth section, I'm already over it. So after my detangling, this is the amount of shed hair that I have, which is about normal. So now that my hair is all sectioned off, I will now get in the shower and start shampooing. Okay, so I'm going to be using my favorite shampoo right now. It's the Shea Moisture 10 in 1 Renewal Shampoo. It's so good. I really like it. I'm also going to be using the Tropical Isle Strong Roots um, Red Plimento Growth Oil. I'm going to be using that as my oil rinse. So I'll show you guys how I do it, but it's super easy and it's a just a minimal step that I do, but it, it really makes my hair like super soft and it promotes growth. So I'm just going to start by saturating my sections. Um, I like to wash my hair in halves because I don't know, I feel like when I use smaller sections, it gets tangled again. I don't know. So for me, it's just easier just to work in halves, like halves. Um, 
sides so I'm just saturating this side of my hair try not to go blind and if I run into any more tangles I just gently remove them and when I'm in the shower I put them up on the wall which is kind of gross but it doesn't clog my drain and it's super like convenient just to plop them up there so after my hair is fully saturated with the water I'm gonna take a generous amount of the shampoo and rub it on my palms um, and I'm gonna be using the pads of my fingers to massage it into my scalp so if you, as you can see I'm just going under the hair and massage massaging <laughs> massaging the product into my scalp I'm focusing on my edges because that's where um, you know a lot of the edge control and the gels go so I'm just really concentrating on cleansing and scrubbing um, my hair because this week I didn't have a chance to do my midweek wash so my hair was definitely dirty and in need of a good cleanse so I'm just taking again the pads of my fingers not my nails and just scrubbing and cleansing and just working that shampoo in So I'm going to go through that section one more time with um, another round of shampooing. Um, if you saw my Instagram, I wore my hair back into like a low bun this week. So I had a lot of product and gel in it. So I'm just going to try and make sure my hair is as clean as possible. So I'm going to take again the pads of my fingers and just work that into my scalp. Um, I'm not really concentrating on the actual hair. like shafts because you know the the scrubs scrubs the bubbles will um bubbles the lather will get to the hair so i'm just focusing on the scalp and just really working that in um you don't want to like rub all in your hair that's gonna you know mess up all the detangling you did pads of your fingers that is what to remember you can also um kind of take the yeah. ends of your hair and hold them while you go under and reach your scalp and scrub that also you know lessens the chance of retangling your hair and keeping it nice and elongated and clean and smooth so I'm just working this through um, and make sure I get the uh, middle of my scalp and everything and then I'm just gonna rinse this out well, after I finish rinsing, I'm going to split this section back into twos because when I use the growth oil, you're supposed to, um, you know, position the nozzle like right on your scalp. So it's easier to work in um, smaller sections than a half. So I'm just going to fold those back up and start working on the other section. All right. So now that we have four clean sections, I'm going to take the growth oil by tropical owl i'll just show you what it looks like it's um pretty thick it kind of reminds me of castor oil um but a little looser so i'm just going to take that uh nozzle and put it all around my scalp and my hairline and um you know that's why i like having them in four sections on this part because then you can kind of get to you know your scalp easier um, so I'm just squeezing in not a lot because the um, it's pretty concentrated and um, a little bit goes a long way so I'm just positioning it and squeezing a little bit in getting it onto my scalp and then I'm going to massage it in After I pin back the last section, I'm going to take a plastic bag 
and wrap that around my hair and this is great for steaming um your hair basically the hot water from the shower will act as kind of like a steamer and it really um kind of activates the oils and makes your hair super super soft So now that we are out of the shower, we're just going to unclip one of the sections and I'm going to start deep conditioning. I'm going to be using the Intense Treatment Mask by True by Me Beautiful. I love, love, love this deep conditioner. It is so moisturizing and so creamy. It is like the final step to my entire wash day. I like to start off on my ends um, since it is the driest part of your hair. And then just slowly start working that up my hair um, and being very generous with it because this is um, one of the most important steps like in your wash routine is deep conditioning. Um, I try and deep condition at minimum once a week um, and you don't really need to deep condition any more than that. But if I miss, um, you know, a week of deep conditioning, like my hair can tell. So I usually try if there's nothing else I can do I'm going to be deep conditioning so after I um, lather up the section I just twist it up and I'm just going to kind of put it in a little knot and then move on Now that each section is deep conditioned, I will take the same black um, plastic bag and just put that over my hair. So that kind of acts as the first layer of insulation. So you want it tight so that no air is kind of, you know, getting out. Then if I was staying home, I would follow up with this kind of like aluminum cap and then also my thermal um, heating cap that I love um, it's you basically put it in the microwave and you um, you can deep condition with it but since I am going out and I have errands to run today I will not be um, doing that so what I'm gonna do is take my satin scarf and tie that around the plastic bag so that is the second layer of insulation so basically we're trying to create our own heating cap so that you know I'm still deep conditioning and heating on the go um, when I can't stay at home and use my either you know my electric heater or um, the thermal cap so I put that on and then obviously I don't want to go out looking like um, I don't know Aunt Jemima or something but I follow up with just a cap and no one knows that you're deep conditioning under that cap like it is genius um once you get it situated correctly you can just be on the go and that's pretty much it if you don't have a um, baseball cap you can use like you know um, a knitted cap or um, even like a fedora I mean any type of hat that would cover your head um, and then you're just on your way I hope this video was super helpful thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one bye